Hopefully that wasn't too bad, guys. All right, let's talk about the answers relatively quickly here. So this obviates my the risk of exposure. Uh, this basically precludes it, prevents it. I avoid the exposure. Correct answer is going to be D, prevents. Be aware of his perfidy, perfidy. No clue. I guess one common theme of my channel is I don't know how to pronounce, you know, like 10% of these words. Perfidy. Be aware of his perfidy. Correct answer is his deceitfulness, his fraud, his dishonesty. It's not the most utilitarian approach. It's not the most functional approach. Fame is evanescent. Do you guys remember that band, Evanescence? You know, the, the woman was the, uh, the lead singer. Um, for the longest time, I, I had no idea what that word meant until I started looking at GRE. Evanescent basically means temporary or it only lasts a short time. Correct answer is transient right there. Number five, the color accentuates the room. You often see this word like with fashion or color, you know, stuff like that. Basically, what it does is it emphasizes or it highlights. Correct answer is E. The tension was palpable. Uh, you can feel the tension. It's very easy to notice. Best answer is discernible. It was an innocuous comment. GRE loves this word for some reason. Innocuous just means harmless. It was a decadent society. You know, you know, Roman society, at least toward the end, is often described as decadent, uh, depraved, or kind of in decline. Okay. Now, you do have A and D. The... A decadent society often is in decline, but that's not necessarily the meaning of, of decadent. So depraved is the best answer right here. Number nine says money is scant. If money is scant, you don't have a lot of it. Best answer is going to be lacking. We were lucky to have a sagacious, one of those ones I'm not sure how to pronounce. Sagacious, sagacious. So whenever I think of this word, I think of the word sage, you know, a very wise man or, or a wise person. So the best answer here of the five is going to be shrewd. Not, not a great answer, but it's the best of the five. Number 11, the paper was full of egregious errors. I, I sometimes use this word when I'm grading essays, issue essays and argument essays. Um, egregious errors, like grammatically speaking, are like those run-on sentences the fragments, those kind of uh, grammar mistakes, and they're appalling. These are the kind of mistakes that if you're applying for a job, you know, this, this might get your application thrown away. Number 12, he failed to galvanize the group. He was unable to motivate them. 13, she was ousted. She was ousted, so basically she was kicked out. Correct answer is removed. Here's the trick answer. Whenever you out somebody, that's a little bit different. You reveal something about them. You don't really kick them out. So C is the best choice. 14, he was known for his pugnacious comments. Pugnacious, um, this basically means aggressive. Uh, GRE has a lot of words to describe aggressive. So they have pugnacious. They have uh, bellicose. They have truculent. And all of these words essentially mean combative, aggressive. There was profuse trash on the streets. Basically, there was a lot, a lot of trash. So the best answer is copious. Do not engage in any skullduggery. What a great word. This word is amazing. Um, basically, don't do any kind of bad behavior or maybe deceit or any kind of tricking. So of the five, the best choice is underhandedness. All right, next one. 17 says it was a mundane event. If it's a mundane event, it's not very interesting. So the best answer is dull. The fog was momentary. Um, momentary is one of those other words that GRE loves. And I don't mean the word specifically. I mean the idea. They have a lot of words for this idea. It basically means temporary. So they have words like evanescent, ephemeral, transient, um, momentary. Uh, basically, all of these words that mean something only happens for a very short time. So the best answer is temporary. 19. Rahul has a convivial and the convivial, convivial, another word I'm not sure how to pronounce, personality. Best answer is basically nice, kind, friendly. So of the five, affable. That's conjectural. 
Another word that GRE loves, they love the word conjecture. Uh, basically means, you know, you're making a claim, but you don't really have that much evidence. So speculative is the best answer. My decision was nullified. Well, if you nullify my decision, you essentially cancel it. So the best answer here is going to be voided. It's trivial. Whenever something's trivial, it's either kind of small, not important, uh, not something we really have to uh, think about too much. Sometimes people get upset over trivial matters and someone might say, why are you so mad? It's just a trivial thing. So the best answer here is inessential. 23, this analysis is vapid, it's superficial, it's surface level, it's not deep. Um, incisive means it is deep. Uh, so the best answer here is uninspired. Valid's the trick answer. I only put this in there because it looks like vapid. Just because two words look similar doesn't mean anything. And I'll give you a couple of examples. Deify and defy. Nettlesome and meddlesome. And I even made a mistake with these two words in my previous video. So, you know, I, even I'm prone to making these mistakes. So GRE loves to do these kind of tricky things. She was indiscriminate in her choice of friends. Well, if somebody discriminates, that means they kind of select carefully. So this means this person does not select carefully. Correct answer is D, non-selective. 25, ideas are omnipresent. Um, omnipresent, you can kind of break this apart. Omni uh, is a root word, which basically means uh, everything or everywhere or all. Think about the word omniscient. You know, if somebody's omniscient, they know everything. So the best answer here is ubiquitous. It's hard to be sanguine about this situation. I don't know if that's sanguine or sanguine, one of the two. Uh, it's just a synonym for optimistic. 27, he possesses a flamboyant style. So someone who's flamboyant is kind of showy. They like to uh, have a lot of style or they like to show off their, uh, their moves, basically. So best choice here would be animated. Can we forestall it? Um, you can just guess reasonably well by looking at the word stall. Like if I try to stall you, I try to slow you down or stop you. So the best answer is gonna be block. All right, two more. It's nettlesome. This was the word that I got uh, wrong on the previous video. I confused it with meddlesome. Uh, if something's nettlesome, it's irritating. It bothers you. And then finally, don't gainsay me. Uh, whenever you gainsay somebody, you either kind of defy them or reject what they're saying or contradict them. So the best answer is A. All right, so this was the uh, group eight vocabulary words. So we now have eight times 30. So we now have 240 words in our vocabulary repertoire, our YouTube quiz repertoire. Um, I'm going to try to get one of these out per week. They're a little more time consuming than I thought they would be. They, you know, they, even though they follow a, a pretty clear cut template, they still take a while to make. And I always like to try to put in a new song in the beginning. Uh, anyway, with that in mind, you guys can shoot me an email at gregmatttesting at gmail.com. All right, I hope you guys did well. If you're getting 25 plus, that's a good sign. It doesn't guarantee GRE success, but it means that you can maybe not spend as much time on vocabulary and work more on your reading strategies and your verbal strategies and things of that nature. All right, guys, until uh, group nine, good luck out there.